<clears throat> I just get up my reference website. Oh, duh. No reference website needed because these aren't released yet. Well, now they are. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. I um, have postponed today's original video because I got a package which uh, the products inside are released today. So that's why I'm here with my pineapple. It was slightly unexpected. <laughs> anyway, this is because I received the new Lush Halloween products which go live today, Friday the 13th. <laughs> uh, I figured we could just take a look at them. I could sniff them, describe them to you extremely poorly, and then you could decide if you wanted to pick any up for yourself. <laughs> Alright, so, if somehow you aren't uh, familiar with Lush, first of all, I'm sorry. Um, secondly, they are cruelty-free. They actually do a lot of work in finding more sustainable options as far as their ingredients go to. You can check that out on their website. And a lot of their products are vegan. All of these releases are vegan. Um, occasionally, they may only be vegetarian, but I know they are often like switching things out. So just really lovely kind of like bath and shower products. They have really fun releases and they also have a great kind of core selection of items as well. Maybe what I'll do is pin a comment with some of my favorite things I always go back to from Lush if you guys are interested. So check there. Let's look in the box. So the first thing that is looking at me, this is Pumpkin Pumpkin. <laughs> that is his name. Actually, I also want to say that the um, packaging from Lush, most everything is uh, recycled and or recyclable and then the packing peanuts that they use are compostable so you can pop them in your compost and what i like to do is in the little compost bins in my kitchen i will um toss these in as soon as i get them and it kind of helps deal with the stink and they shrink when they're in there because they um i don't know science you know so pumpkin pumpkin mm, he does smell good actually he smells surprisingly light for a like halloween -y pumpkin type thing. So mm, it says, carve out some time for a spicy cinnamon lime soak. I could see that. Yeah, I think that's why it's like fresher smelling with softening pumpkin powder. Super cute. Bath bombs. Again, if you've never used one, you plop them in your bath. They fizz up. It smells nice, makes your skin feel good. And it's just an all around delightful experience. If you aren't lucky enough to have a bath, if you only have a shower, they also have shower bombs. So you hold them under the water, um, let it get nice and foamy, use that foam kind of as like your body wash. And then the rest of it, you just let like dissolve in the base of the shower and, um, Smells incredible. The next one I'm picking out of here. Oh, I feel so bad. I think I had this guy last year, maybe. This is Ghost in the Dark Soap. As you may be able to see, I accidentally dug my nail into it because these just arrived. I wanted to film them for you and I was, I got overexcited, okay? I just, <sighs> sorry, man. He smells super kind of, is it lemongrass or like citrusy? Get spookily soft with hydrating cocoa butter and refreshing lemongrass. Stick this sudzer in direct light for 30 to 45 minutes and then watch it glow in the dark. I didn't know it glowed in the dark. I missed out on that on the last one I had. Anyway, I'll get over it. If you like lemongrass, if you like ghosts and you need a soap that actually, it does feel even quite like shea buttery or, um, is it shea butter? I just said it, didn't I? Cocoa butter. Then you probably enjoy this. Mm, love a little lemongrass. I'm pretty excited for this one. This is Boo Shower Slime. Rinse away those bad vibes and dive into this spooky and silky pot of black slime. Slime. Mm, don't mind if I do. My hands are slippery from soap, dude. Ooh. Oh, okay. I was thinking of their shower jellies. This is not a jelly, this is a slime. There's a difference. I don't know if I can show you without pouring everywhere. Do you see that? Oh, that's gonna be fun. And what a pleasant surprise that this thick black goop is bubblegum scented. So I am very excited to use this in the shower. I mean, I'm sure I can figure it out, but does it tell me how? <laughs> Sometimes to get clean, you gotta get a little slimy. Scoop our boo into your hands and scrub, scrub, 
scrub away, lather up, and rinse. All right, you guys are gonna have to check back on my Instagram stories if you wanna see how this goes because um, I'm very excited to use this. All right, friends, oh, I remember you. This guy is Bewitched. It's a bubble bar. Um, so instead of putting the whole thing in the bath and it fizzing up like a bath bomb, um, with the bubble bars, you can just crumble them under running water. They get extremely bubbly. So it says, create a bath brimming with perfect bubbles and a fabulously fruity fragrance. Ooh, smells a little sexy. What scents do we have in here? Ooh, bergamot. Mm, I know some of you guys love bergamot. Mm. That is one of the things I love about Lush is that even their super like fun, like limited or special occasion releases, they smell super like luxurious and I don't know, like adult, you know? I wouldn't expect him to smell so sophisticated, but I really shouldn't judge him because I don't know him. This is Magic Crystals a Shower Scrub. I don't know if I've ever had a shower scrub from them. So it says, scrub your way to softness with this bewitching blend of Epsom salt and fresh, tingly mint infusion. I love Epsom salts. Like when I put them in my bath, I just feel like, like a fresh new human when I get out. Oh my gosh. It does smell minty, but also, by the way, it's vibrant. What else can I smell? Fresh mint infusion. Rosemary infusion, sage, spearmint. It does have aniseed oil in, but um, I don't, I'm not like a big aniseed fan and I can't really smell it. If anything, it smells like, this is gonna sound like I mean it in a negative way, but I don't. It smells like botanical foot cream, but like lush foot cream, you know? Okay, wow, that smells really good. I am gonna be so soft and smooth after my shower. Okay, this is one I have been curious of. I don't think I've ever had this bath bomb before. I don't know if it's new, maybe. This is Mercury Retrograde. Ooh, interesting smell. Make your way through uncertain times with this celestial lemon ginger soak. Don't tell me it's like Mercury Retrograde and Friday the 13th all at the same time. And I'm on my period. Oh, give me a break. It smells kind of like spicy sexy. What's Buchu oil? Cinnamon leaf oil, ginger oil, Sicilian lemon oil. Mmm, gardenia. How impressed would you guys be if I was just like sniffing it and telling you what was in it off the top of my head? I wish. Usually I describe scents as being like round or spiky. So, haven't used this one before. Very excited to, and it has lots of different kind of nooks and crannies and colors and textures in there. So, that'll be fun. If you've not been paying attention to my Instagram stories, I did post some very nice little uh, sensual bath bomb close-ups the other night and a lot of you enjoyed, so I'll probably keep doing it. I feel like there's more. Ooh. Okay, so this is Twilight Shower Jelly. I'm not sure if I've used this one before. I don't think I have, but it says lather up a lullaby with this soft and soothing lavender tonka wobbler. And it looks like once you take it out of the tub, it is like a beautiful, ooh, like galaxy colors in there. And there's like pink in there too. Cute. It smells, oh my God, Rianne. I was gonna say, it smells just like their Twilight body spray. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Please hold while I just make sure that there's nothing else in here. I'm having that feeling. <laughs> Probably this isn't a normal thing. You know what, like, um, Christmas or something when someone gives you, like, a gift bag and there's, like, a few things in there and then you're, like, grabbing them all out, like, wow, thank you, thank you, and then you're, like, digging to see if there's anything left and you don't want to seem like you're being greedy and wanting more, but, like, also you have to check because have you ever accidentally thrown away a gift? All right, honestly, I think that's everything. There is another one listed on here. Maybe I will find it at the bottom of the box, but I really don't think there's anything else in there, um, which was called Glow Worm. Um, which was like a moldable soap, maybe? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little impromptu, like I said, but I wanted to be sure to get this out since they are released today and you may get a little bit of a better feel for them. <laughs> Hopefully. Thank you to Lush for sending them to me. They're always super generous. They actually originated not far from where I grew up. Um, we used to go to, I think they're from Pool, and we used to go to Pool when we were kids. I think there was like a glass factory there or something. We would go buy these little glass beads. I think they were called dragon droppings. 
Anyway, I've loved Lush for a really long time, love their products, and like I said, I will list some of my favorites that I like repeat by in the comments if you wanna check there. If you do have any other questions, that's where I'll be in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. I will be back on Monday, maybe with a food related video. All of my social media will be on the end screen to come and I will see you in the next one. Bye.